The number one thing that Wallet <laughs> Hub suggests is, as Andy kind of alluded to, make something yourself. Paint a picture. Bake cookies. Mm. Cookies are great because they're delicious. And you can eat them. You can eat them. <laughs> and you don't have the cookies sitting around for the rest of the year, and you don't have to worry about what you're going to do with the cookies in another couple of weeks because all of a sudden you got all these cookies. Instead, they get eaten, you share them, you pass them along with friends and family. So those are ideas. You can knit a hat. The, the point is, <laughs> utilize your own talents to make a meaningful gift for why, others. Why are you laughing about it? If I were to knit a, a hat, hat, someone would not be very happy with their gift. Did it depends you know upon the size of their head. <laughs> there are 53 million people that know how to knit. But so how many of them actually do it well? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, theoretically, I know how to knit. You take two pieces of string, yarn, fabric, and you, you tie them together over and over and over again. Doesn't mean it's going to come out looking good. Just a bunch of knots. That's all a bunch of knots. Okay, those of you at home who knit, maybe we need to have. Can you videotape your knitting and send it to us? That could be so a favorite friend. We segment. could do we a segment knit. and we could teach these guys how to knit. That could be very interesting. Actually, over Thanksgiving, my mom was te teaching my niece how to knit, and so I was paying no attention to them. Oh, well, that's good. I thought you were going to tell us you were, you were secretly <laughs> learning your no. this new trade of your life. No, was not. <laughs> Number two, sentimental. Try to think about things your friends or family have talked about over the past year. That means you have to listen. Maybe you own something that would be meaningful for them that you want to get rid of. No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that you want to get rid of it. Something that they love and it would be sacrificial for you to give it to them. For example, a picture of somebody beside yourself, a special family occasion in that picture, a frame that might have something very meaningful. I don't have any of this stuff. I don't know what this is. You know, about. I actually watched my husband do this very thing over Thanksgiving. Our his brother was visiting from Georgia. He made a comment that he really liked my husband's snakeskin cowboy boots. Oh, wow. And so Dan decided to give those. He as gave a him the gift. boots right off his own he back. He did. He right off his own back. Yep, the boots off his back. <laughs> Why is he wearing boots on his back? <laughs> He's carrying awful, them. All the <laughs> big boots. Ice skating. But I, I think, you know, perhaps a deeper meaning there is pay attention to, mm -hmm. to the people right. that you're giving the gift for. Personally, I, I always find it a little bit cheating when I buy people things off of a list because I, I, I would like to know them well enough to know what they would like and don't need that, that list, that list of demands of what they want <laughs> as a gift. <laughs> Number three, adopt a pet. Now, here's a gift my girls would really <laughs> like. However, keep Here, in mind, an <laughs> along with the adoption comes the ongoing cost and care. So this idea should be pondered carefully. Don't just surprise <laughs> your, your parents with a dog. <laughs> Don't just surprise your neighbor with something. But if you are the parent and you know your family's ready for this responsibility, this could be a fun time to add a furry friend to the family. Well, it's it's be fur. It could be a fish. It's true. It could be a fish. Fish, it is, could be fish an are low maintenance. Yeah. It could be an iguana. This is good. There's uh, something barking in my office. Do you know about that? Well, we've been meaning to tell you about cleaning up your office, and apparently some <laughs> wildlife have infested, but here's another idea. Donate blood. Hmm. Consider doing this in the name of one of your loved, one, loved ones, perhaps someone in your family who has suffered recent medical issues and understands the value of blood donations. Check your local Red Cross for the monthly blood donor schedule. Plenty of opportunities to donate blood everywhere in your community. So just check with Red Cross. They can tell you exactly when and where you can do it. A great opportunity to, to, to give really the, the gift of life this Christmas season, which is really what we are celebrating. Christ gave yeah. us eternal life. This is a chance to maybe help extend somebody's earthly life through a blood donation. That's a good one. Another self-sacrifice uh, could be doing household chores for somebody. A great one for kids to say, hey, I'll do this for my sibling. Both people win in that situation. Uh, did you ever Any make those little like little coupons when you yes. were growing up? Like, I will do the dishes for my mom. Mm -hmm. And something. then hope they lose them so they don't never redeem them? <laughs> well, that's not exactly the point of okay. the gift. My mom yeah. threw that away and said, you're already doing the dishes. I don't, why don't I need a coupon for this? How about clean the toilet? That is a gift. That is showing love. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a quick look at number six through 16. Number six, give a massage. Mark is getting ready. Crack Cracking the knuckles. his knuckles. Get ready for it. Number seven, re-gift something. What? Now, I thought, I was brought up being told that this one is a no-no. Yeah. You're really not supposed to re-gift In the age things. of recycling, what's wrong with re-gifting? It, it's all reusing, re, re, re-everything. Hmm. So now it's okay. Apparently. It's okay. Number eight, give your time. Number nine, Bestow some knowledge. Does that Teach count a, as a lesson. Gift? Well, but you know what? You could buy somebody <laughs> a year's subscription to a good magazine. That's not bestowing like your Like World knowledge. Magazine. 
bestow some knowledge. It doesn't say your knowledge. Oh. It says some knowledge. It doesn't say whose. Okay. Buy somebody a Bible. That's God's knowledge. Well, that's you know? true. That's always a good gift. Number 10, enroll in a subscription service, which could mean signing up to pay for a low-cost monthly service or just paying the initial startup fee. Number 11, give tickets to an event. That's always a good one. Number 12, turn possessions into heirlooms. What does that mean? Well, you know what? Maybe you had grandma's china and you've had it for all these years and so it's time to pass it on to the mm. next granddaughter or something. Okay. It's, it's something that... Make it a ceremony? You know, they've... Do you have to light candles as part of the ceremony? <laughs> Are lace doilies involved in the ceremony? <laughs> they just add to everything, don't they? No, no animal <laughs> sacrifices, I hope. Oh, my goodness. Well, if you're going to have meat on these dishes, you eventually you're going to sacrifice an animal. <laughs> Well, maybe you need some dishes for that sacrificial, <laughs> sacrificial service. Number Are we thirteen. About Passover again? Number thirteen is scour <laughs> secondhand stores. Now, is this one okay? Is this okay to find secondhand sales? It's regifting mean, someone else's regifts. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Mark's in. <laughs> you number, can find, dude, there's good stuff you can find. Hey, everybody's got to use for something. It's just a matter of finding the right person to use something correctly and sometimes you have to go through other services to find that perfect match for that perfect item. Mm -hmm. Number 14, redeem credit card points to get free gifts. I actually just did this for a gift for my girls recently. Saved them all year long and now they're gone, but the girls will be happy. Number 15, enroll the recipient. You didn't just spoil it by mentioning class. that on TV. I didn't did say you? what they're getting. Okay. They don't know what I bought them. Okay. You're not listening. Are you girls? You're not watching? Maybe. Depending upon when this is airing, it might be too late for them. <laughs> or too early, or it might be right where there should be. And number 16, this one shouldn't just be for Christmas. This should be something you institute all year round. Just be there. The gift of time, hmm. sadly, is something that we don't give our loved ones very often. And this Christmas season, look for ways that you can just be there for your loved ones. Thank you to WalletHub.com for these gift-giving ideas that are intended to be from the heart and easier on the pocketbook.